Hey everybody, this is my new book, and it's not a programming book, it's a role-playing game. Uh, the setting is, imagine everything, take everything that the big technology companies are working right now. Uh, connected devices, Internet of Things, as they call it. Like, for example, my door lock connects to the Internet. Uh, augmented reality, Apple, Meta, in, in, investing billions on that. And, of course, artificial intelligence. Take all that and extrapolate 20, 30 years in the future. What you get, the range of possibilities that you get are, in one extreme, uh, a perfect world, again, a utopian future where every need uh, is taken care of, or, in the other hand, you have uh, dystopia, right? Everything goes wrong and society is in chaos. And the setting of the book talks a little bit about both. Uh, the idea is that society thrived with artificial intelligence becoming the, the very framework upon which society works, taking care of things from automated streets and highways all the way up to the government. And for reasons that I cover in the book, things go south really, really radically, with AIs becoming a self-servient puppet of mega corporations. And mega corporations running uh, uh, the world, uh, high tech, low life, these are the main ingredients of a cyberpunk. So yes, this is a cyberpunk game. Uh, but one thing that I, that I think is unique to this game is how hacking works. In most cyberpunk RPGs, uh, hacking has its own set of rules, and it's almost like a mini-game within the game, with a, that happens on a specific moment of the game. Uh, some people really like it, I particularly really like it, but it can be... Uh, uh, it can be hard when you have a, a bigger number of players, and some players like that part and some players don't. So it, it's hard to balance that. So I took a different approach. Uh, if you imagine that all devices are connected, hacking becomes not about going to a server specifically, but about hacking everything that is around you. You want to go somewhere, but the door is locked, you hack the door lock and unlock it. Uh, you want to distract someone, since everybody has an augmented reality implant, uh, you can flash some bright lights and loud noises on them, or go in a different direction and project an illusion. Uh, I don't know, make an elephant appear in front of him. Uh, and this mechanism, it, it draws a lot of similarities with how spells in fantasy settings work, right? I, I specifically thought about these two hacks because they are literally present in fantasy books, like Unlock uh, uh, Door and... What the, what the hell is that? <laughs> A lock, do lock door and uh, project illusion. But there are a bunch of others that are more specifically, that are specifically tailored to the technology that the world lives within. This is a print proof. You cannot buy uh, the printed version yet, but you can download the PDF for free on perfectworldrpg.com. I would love your feedback. If you have any ideas, any suggestions, if you dislike something, uh, please write in the comments below. I'm really interested in, in reading what you have to say. Uh, all right, see you in the next one.